as an artist. I was very young and uh, even I was not uh, talented. As a student I was very very low and I was uh, very lazy. But years later, uh, let's say it's about Thailand time when I was in Thailand like a professor or a teacher or uh, uh, in educational system of Thailand. I discovered discover my wish to be an artist again. That was the second time in my life that I have tried to be an artist after uh, my studies. My major was art and history of art. But uh, in, a reali in, uh, in a reality, I had a sudden, sudden block during seven years of my staying in Thailand and I do nothing. I didn't make any, any, any single canvas or even drawing. Thailand was a country full of flowers, full of uh, special colors, really special colors, which is uh, characteristic for Asian area. But it was very interesting, I had a block block uh, in all seven years. My present agent in Canada, she's helping me to, to sell my paintings. She insisted when she saw my first works, my first art, she insisted to continue. So after that, after that I have start I have started to, to paint again. Right now, right now I'm selling my art from time to time, depend on many, many, many factors. I'm selling my art in uh, Canada, I mean North America, continent, Asia and Europe. So my message, my message for all of the people who are listening and watching this is everyone really everyone is born as an artist the question of life matters life circumstances your sensibility your education or just your wish and a uh, hard trying can make you an artist and to be a really a good one i am i am a proof i'm a proof where is the will there is a way Everyone can do that. So just try it. And if you see, if you see that is a, at least, at least pleasant for a watching, for your friends, for your family, your co workers, keep on doing. And by practice and by really a hard work, you will be a master. You have equal chances as any student of Art Academy. Everyone have a chance. So this is my message to all the people who are trying, who are interested for the beauty of art and what art can make with your soul. First of all, first of all, if you are able, if you are able to transfer your feelings while you are doing your art, if you are able to transfer that your feeling to people who are watching your art, that is enough of success. So just work and work and work. Because some people, some people can be talented, just talented. And one day they will die as a talented artist. But what makes you a real artist is work. Just keep on doing. Work and work. There is a message, there is a message also for uh, students as I was a professor and I had my own method on, uh, in, a, in a teaching. I think from country to country that can differ. Some professors are good at work 
and they will support you. Some professors will be just egoistic, will be full of vain vanity and they will not let you to make any progress. They will just hold you on the level they desire you to be. So, if you are studying art, you should, you should do as they ask you to do. So, you will be good as a program is telling you that you have to be that much good, but you have to make experiments, you have to do with different techniques and you will develop yourself and your art skill from by the time. It will not come suddenly, that's for sure, but if people, if people react on your art in positive way, if they like it, if you are able to make some feelings they feel watching your artwork, you will know you are on a good way. Ova gurmanska je ona ljuta. Ali može se napraviti da je ljuta. Ajmo tako. Što je za piće? Ni, ni džo. Ja ću pao kolu. Kolu, kolu piti dvaj. Now you are in Banja Luka. Banja Luka. Yeah. Republic Srpska. Republic Srpska, former of... Yugoslavia. Yeah. It's been a year or so. I'm here in in Banja Luka. Banja Luka is the main town, main town in the Republic of Srpska, and uh, I found it uh, as very, very nice, very nice city, and uh, surrounded by a lot of hills around. So we can we can see it later, and. Uh, I found these people more, more times than even famous, famous Thai people about hospitality. Uh, people in Banja Luka are Serbs. So it's very, very similar to, to my, my, my place of birth, Belgrade in Serbia. So when I, when I get back from Thailand, after nine years, I was uh, really, really surprised about the uh, hospitality of these people and moreover, I didn't feel no any negative energy. People are very kind, very simple, very simple and no doubt, no doubt, this is the place I will stay. I will stay for a long time. So we will see for tomorrow, I'm not sure about that, but for now it's been eight months or so. I'm living here, I'm working here and I am, uh, most important, why I'm here. There is a practical reason, because uh, no need to send my artwork to Canada, no need about anything, any paper, any procedure you know, any money, this is just simple cost, simple cost like... Uh, like a regular mail. Regular mail or uh, packages, you know, no any, you know, any uh, receipt. Taxes, or, uh, no taxes. No tax, nothing, nothing like that, like it's the case in Serbia, 50 euro per artwork piece, one yeah. piece. So, people here are... Uh, more flexible about that. So this is very convenient, convenient for me to be here as an artist and to send my paintings to my agent for selling in Canada. So it's free of charge, let's say like that. 
So that's the reason I made my decision to, to stay here and to live here for longer, longer than perhaps one year or so. It's the uh, early beginning of my work for a contest in uh, St. Petersburg in uh, Russia. So that is international, international uh, competition and will be a few exhibitions all around the world. So this is my message to people who are spiritual and who feel, who feel that things about uh, religion, what, whatever is your religion, but this is a unique, unique message. Uh, we have a three levels. We have a three levels on the bottom, in the middle, and this one up there. We have a three messages to people who are watching this painting. So here is the early beginning of uh, this our present moment of lives. We are living things, and here will be extraordinary, I hope so, extraordinary, beautiful uh, landscape. So this is our life, present life. We are surrounded by beauties. Eyes, one side will be closed, like a stone statue. Will be closed for these beauties in this life. Another one will be open for uh, such a beauty. And here, as we are going to die one day, here we will have middle layer with a lot of temptations, lot of temptations, and based on our ego, based on material things, material way of life. So that is like our purifying souls. So some people will go this way, some people will stay down and they will not reach up this level of con consciousness. So this is an angel and as you can see angel is going up, going up. So in metaphorical way it means we all have our limit and that is spirit. Some of us will reach the spirit, some of us will not. After temptations in our life, we will, we will become an angels. So perhaps one day, perhaps one day we will find a peace in our souls. That can be during the life or after life. So my message is also as message in art. We all have to try to reach the level of spirit. That is what Buddhism is teaching. One question, please. Um, do you compare Buddhism and Christianity when you are uh -huh. in Thai. That is, that is a very interesting question and that is, a, that is a subject and topic. I had a lot of talks with, uh, with uh, my Buddhistic friends in Thailand in, a, in a nine years. In Thailand I spent a lot of time with uh, different levels of people, spiritual levels. So I was talking with uh, ordinary people, market people, simple Buddhi Buddhists and same same way I was talking with the monks in temples so there was a very 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 common thing to sit just to sit and talk about this and that this and that so I realized I realized there is some connection between not Christianity but I would say Orthodox Christianity and Buddhism because that simplicity in Buddhism is very similar to Orthodox Christianity and just the four things, four things people need that is teaching of Buddhism but also Orthodox Christianity 
more things people need to be happy, really happy. So people, people need food, basic food, need some clothes and need a roof, simple roof and need some medicine to keep your body strength. So it's very, very similar and it's very, very good question, but some other time. As a fan of your, of your work, I noticed on your website, uh, on one uh, your mm, composition you have a Buddhist monk mm -hmm. uh, meditating instead of uh, Orthodox Church. Yeah. It's, 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 that it's, is it's, exactly what I'm telling you. It's tricky. Uh, it's yes. tricky combination. So yes, that that was my my inspiration was just about that. How come? How come? Buddhism and Christianity, in particular, Orthodox Christianity. How come it's so similar? So I was uh, I was very 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 much thinking about. What is common thing? So I made that canvas painting with the similarities, similarities in a, in a theological way, in between Buddhism. So I made I made a statue of Buddha in meditation, and that was in a typical, typical, typical uh, showing of Buddha in Buddhism, in art of Buddhism, and behind that was a Christian church. Studenica in particular, so that was my message to people to think about similarities in between religions. I think, I think, as an artist, I think if people would realize there are similarities in between all religious religions in the world, I think planet would be a very, very nice place to stay for live. Hello. Hello. I am also an artist uh, like uh, Misha, he is uh, my good friend. Uh, I am a student at uh, University in Banja Luka, Art College. Uh, we are right here in the workshop. Yeah, if you can compare Misha with someone from history, who will be that? Uh, I think it's Van Gogh. <laughs> Van Gogh? Longer. It's a great compliment for Misha, it's true. It's true. It's true. Ma ma many people from all around the world says that Misha is, is the incarnation of Van Gogh. Yes. Uh, the, 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 the way of... Uh, of... Uh, working is, is like uh, Van Gogh way. And in some segments of life it's uh, it's the same it's the same like right now great two painters in hotel in the middle of Banja Luka in the middle of nowhere in the middle of nowhere my name is Dejan Vidakovic painter painter last year of studies last year Thank you.